Today I'm working on a Philips LCD LED TV. This TV came in here with a problem where the remote control was not able to control any of the functions on the TV. Well my first check was to make sure the remote control was working okay and as you can see it's working just fine. So I figured well maybe it's that little infrared sensor on the uh, the circuit board that has the tactile switches. Tactile switches are the little switches here that have the uh, all the functions for the TV, volume up, down, channel, all that. Anyway, I figured that little sensor probably just went bad. I've had to change those in the past. It's not something that happens too often. Here's here's a circuit board that actually has one on it. So I went ahead and I changed the sensor. I happen to have another one here. Still had the same problem. And I thought, you know, I, I shouldn't have jumped the gun like that. I should have done a voltage check first. If you just take your meter probe, put it across the various tabs going to the uh, ribbon cable, it hooks to the tactile switches, and then push the button on your remote control, you should be able to see a voltage drop on one of these terminals here, which is what I did. And sure enough, that confirmed that there was nothing wrong with the sensor in the first place. The problem was elsewhere. In fact, what happened was whenever I... Uh, looked at my voltmeter and I pushed the button, the power button for example, I'd see a voltage drop from 3.3 volts down to 2.8 volts on pin 5 of this uh, wiring connector right here. So bottom line it turned out that one of the tactile switches had become corroded and I thought that just cleaning it up was going to be good enough and it worked for a little while but it turned out the guy had must have spilled water in the TV or something. It, it formed a conductive path under the volume up button and I should have figured that out without going to all this trouble because if I push the volume down button the volume up would immediately go back up and it was disabling all these functions and disabling the remote control from working. So for what it's worth if you ever have a problem like this don't forget to check for voltage drop across one of the pins here when you push the button on your remote. As long as your remote uh, infrared sensors working okay, that little bugger right there, you should be able to see some kind of a voltage drop. It wasn't much. 3.3 to 2.8 isn't a whole lot of change, but it was enough to verify that it was working. So, happy days. This thing is fixed. Spent a lot more time than I should have, but anyway, another good learning experience. Thanks for watching the video, and if you like it, please give me a thumbs up.